Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to the very first video I'm actually making doing my first top, top 5 videos so I hope you enjoy I've done my best to uh, do the research, the background research so I'm hoping that it's up to your standards I do ask you to uh, please bear with me you never know, I might do better than I think and better than you think please like and subscribe it helps me with YouTube's algorithm I'm just learning this out myself now sit back, enjoy starting off with Videopad right, what what I'm going to say now is, is uh, I'm going to be telling you a bit about each one each of the five but I'm going to be giving you the pros and cons after reading reviews so I've, I've spent quite a bit of time reading uh, positive reviews and negative so the pros and the cons so in this short video basically all that time what I've spent I'm just going to be giving it to you raw so here it goes as you can see it's set out the same as most video editors and they're all kind of like this they all kind of look the same so you know uh, all TVs are going to look the same all music's going to be classed as music so there's not much difference there but I'm going to start off with some of the pros and what it has to offer with Videopad it's possible to create multiple video and audio tracks all layered whereas there's other free vid sorry there's other free video software out there that you can't do that so I suppose that's a plus also you can drag the time the time tracks right and left in the timeline which is convenient because as a, as with other video editing softwares out there you can't you have to mess about Videopad allows you to improve your video through visual effects. You can use overlays, texts, transitions. Uh, there's a, the free version of Videopad is available for non for non, non commercial use only. So if you're using it at home, then yes, you can you can download it. But if you're using it to make money out of business or whatnot, you can't. So just remember that. And I just thought I'd finish off by uh, showing you so you can actually pause the video if you want or I'll just read it out the comments of uh, one of the users on the free version of the pros and cons as you can see uh, the title it starts I must have for, edit for editing any video a comment about it video pad helps in day-to-day -day video editing needs it's quick it's extremely easy to learn yet robust and immensely powerful in what it does videopad is an extremely stable software it is a must have for those who want to edit their videos without having to dive deep into technical into technicalities of video editing the pros the best thing about videopad is that anybody can edit a video with this software right out of the box Videopad is so easy and intuitive to use and the learning curve is almost nil so if you want to vi edit video in the blink of an eye then this is the software for you plus it has several, several handy tools to edit your video like a pro but the person also wrote the cons and the con this is it although one can edit videos of any sort with this program but video pad is not intended for movie making thus lacks a lot of features that one would expect from a professional film editing software so if anyone is looking for a software to edit films or movies then this is not the option so there you go uh, the pros and the cons there so at number five video pad moving on next 
in the number four spot we have VSDC with VSDC video editor say you have the pro version and you have the free version now I've done some research on the free view version and things that need to be said to start off when you launch the software it dedicates a large part of the interface to big up its top features so you know no surprise there as motion tracking allows you to edit to the beat of a song which is good transform your footage through artwork type effects and it's compatible with 2k and 4k videos VSDC as a high learning curve to be honest you're always having to look up and watch those tutorials you also see that you not only can edit videos you can also make slideshows and even video record your PC screen which is a big positive because I have to use separate uh, software to do that it's worth noting that even though VSDC is free it doesn't hinder your creative process there's no watermarks that are added on your video nor are there any limits to the length of the project you can create as with any program though the most important criteria is how good it is at doing its, its intended job and what compromises are deemed acceptable based on its price points but with a price of zero VSDC has a massive competitive advantage also, also as you can see now I've put up on the, on the screen so you can pause in your own time and read further information about VSDC whether you want to uh, read the pros and the cons more and some more in-depth reviews of, of, of the video software uh, please like and subscribe to my videos as well so in conclusion I'd say the transitions are probably more com confusing than most uh, it hasn't seemed to what changed in its updates it's a bit you know hard to work out the text offers uh, quite a few options it's not all bad the effects you have an handful of basic effects to dispose of and uh, the problem is though it's still very difficult to understand as I keep saying you have to uh, watch those tutorials anyway number four VSDC moving on in our next spot number three we have HitFilm Express HitFilm Express this is kind of like Marmite some people love it some people hate it literally <laughs> There's a bit of a steep learning curve involved in a uh, hit film express the but there's more than 400 effects and prefects in order to be able to download it film for free you have to give it a shout out on social media so uh, you know they've got you doing their promotion there hit film express comes in different packages starting from the free version to the pro version on the screen you can see the different prices hitfilm express is available for windows mac os 64-bit operating systems only you need to update your graphics driver to run hitfilm express running latest gpu drivers increases the performance and stability of, of your computer windows microsoft windows 10 64 bit microsoft windows 8 64 bit those are the minimum requirements in connect internet connection is required online activation the processor is fourth generation intel core processors and amd equivalents ram you're going to need four gigabytes eight gigabytes is recommended and memory it, it does say it recommends two but you can get away with one gigabyte of memory so you do need like you know a decent 
computer to back to back or laptop whatever you're using to actually run this software but you decide as you can see on screen it's all there for you so you can pause and read it in your own time one thing that I like about HitFilm Express is interface the layout and it's kind of I say I can kind of say the same about most video ed editors out there all the softwares out there you get you get to pick between the light theme or the dark theme as you can see above preferably I, I prefer the dark theme because it stands out better and, and uh, when you're also doing fades and colorings with your text and everything it stands out a lot more so that's just my opinion take it if you will if not do what you want to do I'm here to show you so I hope you picked the right one out of there whichever suits you best finishing off as an added bonus now I'm going to leave on the screen two reviews the pros and the cons of genuine customers who have, who have had the programs in the past so you can read them there now or you can pause and read them and that's bringing us to the end of number three I hope you enjoyed it number three hit film express moving on to number two DaVinci Resolve 17 DaVinci Resolve was released in 2004 the free edition includes most of what you pay for when buying pro elsewhere includes most features needed for most pro projects there's multi track editing there's trimming there's HDR grading it's suitable for most formats and the resolution is up to 4k so the tools are built in to create effects and graphics I must admit it's a bit of a steep learning curve so it requires either past knowledge or watching quite a few tutorials or googling but there's plenty of tutorials there are tutorials there for you on your own page to watch and uh, that's why it's at number two also with DaVinci you can change the layout how you like you can either have it the standard way what you can see now or you can move it around in kind of a 3d way as you can see above I kind of like that and uh, we can do that with number one as well which you'll see soon DaVinci Resolve is available for Mac OS Windows and Linux and will run on a mid to high level gaming laptop as well as a, de a desktop workstation if you're an individual creator just starting out there isn't really a lot of difference in the functionality between Resolve and Resolve Studio and the specs required you need a kind of a decent uh, operating system 2 gigabytes of RAM is hopelessly inadequate for DaVinci Resolve the, reckoning, the recommended minimum for the current version is 16 gigabytes you might get away with run, running it on an 8 gigabyte for light usage so there's a lot to uh, take into consideration because if you haven't got the right software or the right computer etc then it's just not going to run properly so you're better off with number one if you do end up getting DaVinci Resolve there are added bonuses which you can buy uh, like on Amazon there's actually a keyboard cover which you can put on top of your laptop or computer etc and it uh, just kits out the same colors and the same design as the DaVinci Resolve so that's something new well as a quick bonus like I have done with the rest I'm just gonna leave now quickly showing on the screen some uh, pros and cons so you can pause and read in your own time if you want moving on we come to the end of number two number two DaVinci Resolve 
coming in in first place we have Shotcut. Shotcut is a brilliant video editing software. It's been on the market since 2004. People love this free video editor and it's completely free. There's no pro version, it is what it is, nothing more, nothing less. You can export up to 4K. You can also use video effects, include, there's including numerous filters. There's color effects and loads of transitions. It's very easy to work out and it's and I'd say it's the best for people who's just who are novices who are just starting out. If you're looking for a tutorial know to tell you which is the best one then this is it shortcut because it's very easy to work out. The learning curve is very basic. I'd say you can easily learn it in a day if, if you put the effort in. Shotcut works well on Windows 7 up to Windows 10. Apple Mac OS, 84-bit Linux. RAM you need a minimum of 4 gigabytes. Storage, 2 gigabytes of storage space. I advise everyone to use this, especially those who are just starting off. Shotcut is easy to download. Once downloaded, it's simple steps to get it up and running. And we come to the end of the best top five free editor softwares out there at the moment now, 2021. I hope you find found it very informative. Number one, Shotcut. I'd just like to say please like and subscribe the video it helps me with YouTube's algorithm get me you know so people can see my videos I'll be making more tutorials in the future plus I've got plenty of other videos on different topics which might take your fancy you all take care catch you on the rebound bye